Welcome back around the region right now. Things have gotten dark outside. We're of course seeing a lot of cloud cover as well and going to continue to attract some rain into the area. Low 60s for most of us as we continue to roll into the evening. Let's peek at the radar where we are again tracking a little bit of rain right now in middle Georgia. It's really just been the southern counties so far. Telfair, Wilcox, Crisp. That's where we've seen rain so far in middle Georgia. But Plenty further off to the south, pretty widespread throughout South Georgia. We switched to the Valdosta radar to get a better view of what's actually happening down there. It's a little more widespread over western Georgia than it is further off in the southeast. But we're also seeing a decent amount of activity in Alabama as well. And all this is kind of just taking over much of the southeast. It's going to be good sleeping weather overnight tonight. There it is. It's a mass of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. We'll have a low of 50 degrees in making tonight in the form of scattered showers that become a little more widespread as we go through the night. And that wind, a little on the breezy side, gusting upwards of 20 miles per hour. Here are your lows. Gordon 49, Gray 48, down to 51 in Vienna, as well as in Dublin. A pretty mild night, definitely going to be uh, wet and cool. Not going to want to spend time outdoors, but good sleeping weather. As I mentioned before, this rain will be persistent. We're going to deal with it throughout much of tomorrow before it tapers off in the evening, but we could still see a few shower chances on Thursday and then we're gonna have a cold front that comes in and could instigate more rain chances as we head into Friday. You're gonna see the low come up from the Gulf of Mexico as we head into Friday as well and because of the proximity of us to that the wind could get a little bit strong come Friday afternoon as well. A closer look at this, uh, the rain, good news is it's mainly going to be light. We're not worried about severe weather. We're not worried about flash flooding. So we'll have to see that. It can still help with drought conditions. This wind getting stronger as we begin your Wednesday. You will want the rain gear out the door, and I do suggest the raincoat over the umbrella because of this wind. But as you can see, this is very widespread throughout the bulk of the day. And then finally, as we get into the evening, it starts to taper off a little bit. Overnight, a few showers do linger. I would definitely suggest the rain gear out the door again come Thursday morning. We're continuing to see these winds. Now they're getting stronger as again to Thursday afternoon because of that low getting closer. And then you see this rain picking back up again Thursday evening. And again, we could see some shower chances Friday with that cold front coming in. So preliminary rain totals through Thursday evening. We're looking at an average of a third of an inch for most of the region. Some spots pushing closer to half an inch. This is not enough rain for flash flooding. And again, we're not worried about severe weather either. But to sum up tomorrow for us, 58 degrees in Macon. Not going to want to spend a lot of time outside as we're expecting plenty of rain and wind. Your extended forecast is coming up in 10 seconds.